<laughs> Alex, you are so mean. <laughs> I trusted you. <laughs> I trusted you, and you disobeyed <laughs> my trust. Please have your tissue now. <laughs> I now can't trust you. <laughs> I don't we know, had a trust I don't know between you us. Ever did. I don't know what you ever did. What have I ever done before? I that thought I made saw you the middle you of yours. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some more Dutch treats. Yes, this box was sent to us by Naomi, who also sent us the Dutch Christmas box that we had at Christmas. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, but we really enjoyed, didn't we? The we stuff did. there was really good. I'm super excited for this box because we absolutely loved the first box. If you haven't watched it, we'll leave a link up there. Just to recap, hi Kate and Alex. I've been following your channel for a really long time. Your channel started my obsession for trying snacks from across the world. Thank you for that. As a thank you, I wanted to send you guys a little box with Dutch things. Some things are seasonal, which we have tried. I'm very excited to see what you guys think of everything. Yes, if you'd like to follow her on Instagram, her handle is at Candy Reviews NL, is that? Yeah, NL. She's got loads of candy reviews on there, so that's really good. That's cool, so, yeah. Right, Naomi, thank you so much for this. Um, this looks absolutely delicious. We have sent Naomi a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's a great way for you guys to support the channel. If you enjoy watching these videos and you want us to continue, you can check out our British candy box. Exactly. Right, shall we hop in, Al? Yes. I think we've only got one savoury item, okay. so should we go there first? Yeah. What have we got, Alex? We've got Doivis, Tiger, New Cheese. New Cheese. Oh, New Cheese. Bacon Cass Smack. AKA bacon Tiger smack. Nuts. Tiger Nuts. These are bacon and cheese coated peanuts. Mm, so these are like those covered Ooh, peanuts that we love. Lots of flavour on that. Lots of flavour. Coated peanuts are always mm. better than normal peanuts. Mm. Really strong bacon flavour. Really strong. Oh, I just bit my cheek. A bit like our frazzles. Mm. They're actually really lovely. I don't know what it is that they coat them with. Mm. It's amazing. And also, I don't understand how they coat them and how are they always so like perfectly round. Is it something that they just get dipped in? But then how so. is there like air around the peanut? There isn't air around the peanut. Yeah, but if you if you you could like rattle it. Maybe when it cooks. It like expands. It like expands or something. And maybe. then there's like a little gap. But yeah, yeah they literally it's like a batter that gets and dipped they just in. Dipped it in. Or it gets poured on top and they get cooked, I imagine. Maybe I'll have to watch a YouTube video. I've never seen a what's inside there's a for them. YouTube video for everything these days, isn't mm. there? Okay, what are you giving those out? I'm gonna give them a nine out of ten. I think we've had better ones, but they yeah. were a really good flavour, good texture. I'm probably going to give them seven. I think my favourite coated ones have been like a sour cream and chive or something. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, they were we've good. We've had one of those. So. We did also have a really good um, chicken Oh, we did. Were really they were really good. Mm. But I really like the texture. Yeah. What would you like to do next? Um, Where should we hit the catchers? Yeah. Oh, they look nice. Witty. Do a dad joke. Witty. Dad joke, yeah. Yeah, these look phenomenal. And these are actually veggie. Yeah, I think most or pretty much all of them are veggie, the cadgers. Really? But um, well, this one's got a face like a monkey. I know. I think, I don't know if I am right, but I kind of feel like this is half licorice and half of something mm. else flavour. I think they've been quite smart here. I think that's banana. And they look like this lovely mat. Oh, they just look so delicious. So we've got citron. Pear is that? Like a raspberry. raspberry. Strawberry. I don't know what that is. Oh, they look so good. Geschmack. Kadja's is very popular here. Two of her personal favourites, banana and licorice. And then these are yoghurt gums. So I suppose, you know, um, when gums are kind of gummy and then they do like a yoghurt version. Yeah. Maybe they're more like creamier, smooth. I'm looking forward to this. I love it when a sweet is banana. It's Ooh, very rare that sweets are banana flavour. Ooh. Yeah, they look nice. They really smell yogurty, don't they? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Fabulous texture. Mmm. It's like bite through. The texture on these are phenomenal. Mm. The bite is just so satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. It really is one of those like sink your teeth in, but there's a nice bit of resistance there, isn't Ooh, it? That pear is, is lovely. It good? Mm. I like pear sweets. Ooh. Really natural flavour, not like over the top. Yeah. Synthetic. 
How funny. I know there's a monkey on the front, but I wasn't expecting them to look like this. Oh. They're a bit like um, Percy Pigs in a way. You know how it's like a shape yeah. like an animal and the ears are a different flavor. I'm liking the ratio of licor licorice. It's licorice not too and much. banana. Did banana. You say? That's cool. So it's going to be like a foam banana. Mm. With licorice. It is like a foam banana. I thought we were going to share that one, but you ate all the banana. No, because. Yeah, that texture at the bottom is foamy. How did you know that before you saw it? I saw it. Wow. Licorice still isn't my favorite. But it's not as strong. But you're right, the ratio on here is perfect. And the flavor blends really well mm. with the banana. It gives a, like, a nice, strong, earthy flavor to the mm. light and fruity banana, doesn't it? That bit's a bit strong, but... Mm. Mm. Nice. I think I'll probably give the yogurt fruities 12 out of 10. Mm. I'll probably give the banana licorice an 8 out of 10. Yeah, they are absolutely delicious. I think I'm going to have to agree. A 12, and then did you just say 8? Eight? 8, yeah. Yeah, the banana's phenomenal. I kind of want banana over the whole thing, over, but I understand yeah. that in the Netherlands, Netherlands, yeah. you enjoy licorice, so that must be delicious. Maybe, yeah. This is Salmiak. Oh, That's, we've had that Yeah. before from Iceland, haven't we? And this is Salmiak and Mint. So this is Venko since 1878. It's been going Passy Holland. Do you reckon this is going to be like a liquor all sorts? Oh, well, maybe they do look like there's a, a few different things in there. Or we got some balls and we got some sticks. Oh, oh yeah, mint on the outside, oh. licorice on the inside of that. No, it's a white ball here. That's just a mint. It's like a soft mint. <laughs> I can't black find ball. what these ones are. It's like a really nice toffee. It's like toffee, this one. Really? Yeah. Because it got licorice around. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Alex, you are so mean. <laughs> I trusted you. <laughs> I trusted you. And you disobeyed my trust. Please now have your tissue now. <laughs> I now can't trust you. <laughs> we know, had a trust I don't know between why you us. Ever did. I don't know what you ever did. What have I ever done before? I that thought made I saw you the middle you of yours. Oh, what? Te that's a really funny texture. Mm. Minty. Hey! <laughs> what? That's minty. <laughs> Look at it in the middle. Right. right. I'm really enjoying the texture, though. Well, you like this. That's basically a soft mint. Yeah, but it's small and deadly. No. Oh! It's just a mint. Ah! What? Bite into one of them now as your punishment. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's the salmiac, I think. That's literally like... Salt. Salt. <laughs> like a, I'm in the sea and I'm drowning. I can't believe you just ate that all and didn't spit it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's quite extreme. Woo! That's woken me up. Well, we didn't try anything like that when we went to Amsterdam, did we? No. I need the green stuff. No, I'm joking. What's the green? Oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... It's like... Now, I, I don't like them, no. but I think a lot of people watching will understand that it, we haven't been brought up on it, so we don't mm. get it. But for those of you that enjoy the salty licorice, you will like these because what's nice about this is it's like an assortment. Yeah. If you like salty licorice, you'll really like those. Yeah. So, um, but what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, you should put them in a pot. You know, like, oh, just chewing gum over here yeah. and just be like, oh yeah, that's a mint. Do you want one? Yeah. Like, oh, it's a chewing yeah, gum. Okay, right. I'm really intrigued with this. Can we try these, yeah. please? Vents. Basically, these are chocolate sprinkles. We use them on bread with a layer of butter. So you have a slice of bread, you, you butter, butter it, it, and you pour this on. Yes. Yeah, I can see people doing this. Look, so there's what milk chocolate that? and white chocolate sprinkles, and then there's like a little bear face. What? Yeah. Oh look, that's what they mean on mm. there. What? What is the bear face made of? You eat chocolate, that. I guess. Oops. Oh, good one. <laughs> Ooh, really sweet. How cool. Mm. Right, I'm gonna butter this. This seems like a very mainland European thing to do. Well, is this what you call fairy bread? Because I've seen people do this before with hundreds and thousands, oh, really? also known as sprinkle. Apparently sprinkle not bread. every country calls them hundreds and thousands, that's just oh, right. us. No, that's the brand name, hundreds and thousands. But that's like in, is it France? They'll do like a baguette 
and then they'll put a piece of chocolate, like a yes. chocolate bar. Oh, there's another. I've seen this called fairy bread, and that's with like, it was really like Fairies. pink sprinkly. Yeah. But um, a friend I used to um, work with, um, she said um, back in the day, so you'd get sugar because mm. um, it was like rationing. And then at the end of the week, if you had enough sugar left, yeah. what they would do is they would butter bread and they would um, put the sugar on top and that would be like their dessert. Oh, really? Because you didn't really have desserts where, like, back then. that's bread pudding comes from. Maybe. Like it's a pudding, you didn't have too much. Because then you just add a custard yeah. with that. I've heard of that, but not sprinkles mm. on bread. From like, Should I go first? Time, from yeah. the wartime, yeah. yeah. Rationing and everything. Rationing and Nice to get a bit of texture in there. I didn't want the bit with the bears. Mm. Is it good? Sweet and chocolatey. Mm. And the bread's lovely. That's but nice. it's not too sweet because right. the butter is our butter salted. And they're like, that, like little chocolate drops. reminds me of like drops. a donut you can get at McDonald's or mm. something. This bread, by the way, is amazing. Mm. How nice is that? It's really a Warburton nice. sandwich bread, did I say? Mm. It's so pillowy and soft. Really pillowy. I'm really enjoying this because if you think about it, a donut really is just kind of like a yeast bread. It's yeah. just it has more sugar in than a piece of bread. Yeah. So no wonder this tastes nice if you put something sweet on it. Mmm. What are you giving that? Yeah, I'm going to give the sprinkles 10 out of 10. Lovely. I'm going to give that experience 10 out of 10. Yeah, mm. definitely. Oh, and that There's bread's loads amazing. Mm. Having a great time with them. At first, I just saw that there were sprinkles. I didn't then mm. read on and it said about... Try them, Kate. Actually, on their own, they're really chocolatey. Really nice. They're really chocolatey. Mm. Lovely. Mm. I saw someone make sprinkles before and it's like royal icing just broken oh, just up. up. So, like, that is chocolate icing. Oh, wow, that's amazing. There are other sprinkles. I wonder if that goes on bread as well. Oh, when announcing the gender of your child, these are commonly served. Ah, what, like in like a, a gender reveal? Yeah, yeah. That's really good. So you can get um, chocolate ones, hundreds and thousands, pink, blue. Oh, these are awesome. These, these are look fun, fancy, aren't they? don't they? Yeah. I love this little. Very like regal, aren't they? They're a bit like nerds. A bit like nerds, Ooh. but sweet instead of tangy. Oh, no. These are flying everywhere. <laughs> these are licorice. They are. Whoa, they well, are. <laughs> really licorice. Wow. Not as licorice as those though. No. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'll tell you this for free, I won't be using licorice to reveal the gender of any baby I am. <laughs> no. Any baby you are. I have. Oh, uh, they're not like strong as, as that licorice though. No, That's quite not. nice. Okay, right, Al, would you like to pick next? Yeah, should we do those auto drops? Yes. They're like... Auto drop replace. Auto, auto drop, drop repair. Oh, oh these look drop. nice. Oh, these look like Swedish fish. Oh. But cars. Oh, they smell great as well. They're not licorice, are they? No. They smell so fruity. Oh, they smell amazing. Okay, Auto Drop makes car shaped candies, and these are the signature ones a berry flavoured Cadillac. Mm. I love how thin they are. They're chewier than I thought. Oh, look, actually. It's a fun box. Is there like actually, three flavours? Yeah, I think so. I saw there was a dark one and a light one. Mmm, what mm. a cool box. Good flavour as well. Oh, look, cherry, strawberry. I'm guessing. Maybe a black coat. Mmm. What flavour is yours? Strawberry. Strawberry. And I know they're probably not made for this, but yeah. with them being auto drop, do you think you can keep them in your car? I think you can and keep them in your car. And then, okay, I'm just going to grab one. Yeah. Fine, I'm driving. I'll have a, an auto drop. This is awesome. Love them. What are you giving those out? Solid seven out of ten. Yeah, I'm going to give them eight out of ten because I love the box, I love the little shape. I just wish they were a bit softer like the catchers. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't picked the Stroop waffles yet. I was going to save them for the end. Oh, go on then. Right, as we're on sweet, should we pick our, our last sweet? This is Shooter Lars, since 1918, Frace and Fruitige, Gemage Perrin. Oh, these like pear drop, two flavours. Although got it kind of one. looks like a bicycle seat. And you've got the yellow one. I think I'm going to go with the pink. Mixed pears. That's what that says up oh, there. Oh, here we go. These are more classic and old school childhood fave. And it says the quality and taste, Varogi. Mixed pears, did it say? Mixed mm. pears. It's like the tennis. It's just a really nice, mellow mm. flavour. Yeah. And it is pear isn't it? Mm. Be good for the car and for the plane. Yeah. Mm. Or a ferry. 
or the fairy. Your ears don't pop. Any time where you feel like you could be queasy, or any time where you've got a long journey. Yeah. Like you need to, you know, use some time. Yeah. Wait. Could take like at least ten minutes to do yeah. one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Break it up. I like them. I mm. like them a lot. Very enjoyable. Shall we do these drop toffees okay. in case they might be licorice? Licorice. Drop, drop toffee. toffee. Yum. Licorice toffee. Oh, yeah. I know you will hate me for this and the next one. <laughs> oh, At least she is expecting us to hate it. It's not too bad, actually. Thank you, Naomi. Well. Oh, my God. When At it hits first, your tongue. It's really strong, but actually, it's quite mellow. And the chew is really nice. It is like a toffee with a slight licorice tang. That's not actually too bad. I would love to know how much salt is in all of these and like if I really am going over my salt intake <laughs> or if I'm okay. That's probably one of the first, first licorice, licorice things I've actually come I haven't had the whole thing, but I finished it. Yeah. Like the bite. You finished a bit. I'm not like yeah. taking it out of my mouth. I feel like if you enjoy licorice, they would be so nice because they're not too licorice-y. Yeah. Really nice texture, bit of toffee, but yeah, <laughs> they're strong. The, they are probably the best licorice things we've had. Yeah. Apart from the banana cadgers. Because mm. it was nice. There was a nice chew. There was actually a nice flavour. And then it had like a tangy licorice. As soon as you, it touches my tongue, yeah, I was like, like Ooh. But at least you you're got, not expecting us to fall no, in love with you them. You got PTSD for licorice. <laughs> we've got some cookies. Oh, cookies. Two nice. flavours here. Chocolate cadgers. One is white chocolate oh. and one is milk chocolate and look can you see it? i think it's got caramel and you've packed us two of each a crunchy cookie with caramel coated in milk or white chocolate these chocolate is nasty <laughs> where does it say that these chocolate is nasty <laughs> <laughs> it's like these nuts I haven't said that in a while no what Ooh. sort of cookie is it? Like a shortbread or something? Because at first I thought it was like a, a speculoos. Street waffle, yeah. Oh yeah, look at the pattern on that. That is so nice. And from the back it looks like a street waffle. Mm. That is lovely. Do you want to try? Mm, that white chocolate is lovely. That is nice. Biscuit I've is lovely. I've had something in that white chocolate before from a candy box. Do you prefer milk? Yeah, but this is actually really nice. Really nice. Goes really well with the biscuit. Mm -hmm. Because the biscuit actually has a really strong flavour in itself. Mm. It actually matches well with the white chocolate. You know what that flavour tastes like? What? In Naomi's first box, we had those round balls. Mm. Maybe they it's by nice. the same brand. Mm. Mm. I would say, I did really enjoy the cadgers, but I think these are the top of the box for me. Oh, don't give it away too early. I'm going to be 10 out of 10. treat of the week coming up in not too long. Are you trying to give away all the info? Oh, we still got one more. <laughs> okay, what have we got? Oh, we've got Stroop Waffles from Yumbo. Met Room Butter. Met Room Butter. I wonder what that is. Stroop Waffle. How can I send a Dutch box without these in? Two layers of cookie with a delicious caramel filling. Try warming one up on top of your cup of tea. I've seen people on YouTube do that, mm -hmm. where you get it, you put it on top, let it warm up. I've done it, in fact. When we went to Amsterdam, Alex and I, we went and got a freshly made street waffle, street waffle and it was delicious, yes, wasn't it? Yes, from a lovely market. Oh, that was close to my face there, I thought. Oh, those are so good. You love these, mm. don't you, Al? really nice like i see these in the shop and i never pick them up but they are delicious and with a cup really of tea good. or coffee and the thing is they are quite like calorie dense but i pick them up sometimes when i'm going on like i know i'm going for a oh, week of like bike, bike rides. rides and i'll take a pack of these glorious I'll help you up there yeah well one time i went cycling with ash and his uncle his uncle was flying away and i was so like on Laggy. the edge yeah, and they had those in the shop we stopped at. No way. So I stuffed them in my back <laughs> pockets. And did it help? Yeah, it helped. I love this branding as well. Mm. These are really delicious. Yeah. You'll have to enjoy one I hot on top Yumbo. of your tea. I think I've got to give it 10 out of 10. You know, it's probably not as good as the fresh one we had, mm. but I really enjoyed it. Next best thing. Next best thing, yeah. We're not we're not there. We can't get no. it fresh. And what were those things you had when I had the, that fresh? I can't remember what they were like called, little, but they were really tiny, like, little like pancakes. pancakes. Yeah, they were really cute. But they were like thick. Yeah. And you put them in these round things and then they turn them over. And he was like over. flipping them all, yeah. Oh, and I had milky bar. And he was going so quick, top. wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> a five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Treat of the week. I may have forgotten to do this last week. We did, yeah. But we're here now. Although you could have remembered as well, Al. I could, no, I'm saying. I'm, that's what I'm saying. No, I, I know. forgot. 
It's not all on it's you. It's just I was saying I forgot. Yeah, and so did I. <laughs> I feel like that's what I was saying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said that, but I'm just saying. Okay, ignore that. Okay. It is a tough decision this week. I think I'm going to go for this chocolate canjas. Chocolate, milk chocolate canjas. And I think I'm going really? for the white chocolate canja. This is just absolutely delicious. Caramel, delicious white chocolate, mm. a lovely biscuit, really good biscuit with a really good bite and chew, like chew pull. That was delicious. I would love to give a very honorable mention to these chocolate. We are twins. Because this on bread with butter is a revelation. This is amazing. Yeah. This is going to be like my new go-to cycling snack. Because I almost said that as treat of my treat of the week, treat, treat of, of my, my week. week. But then I was like, I oh, can I really do sprinkles? And I love that cookie. So I'm glad you said that, Al, because yeah. it was absolutely delicious. And I do think it probably helps if you have like a really good bit of yeah. bread. Like that almost looks like a yum yum, yeah. doesn't it? That is a lovely piece of bread. But do you know but what? I think I would like that on. What? Like a French stick or something. Yeah, I think that would be, be nice. Like a bit of a crunch on yeah, the bread. And that'd be so good. Really nice. But like you say, the crunch of the sprinkles was really nice, wasn't it? And sorry, this is like saying everything, but we can't go without saying how good those yogurts cadges were. Yeah, they were really, really, really good. Oh, Naomi, you really did send a delicious box. Well, we've enjoyed two boxes two delicious from boxes. you and we really appreciate it. We did send Naomi a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's a great way for you guys to support the channel. We've got a whole selection of lovely British treats for you to try. We do, so definitely go check them out. But Naomi, thank you so much. We hope you guys all enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.